No one wants, is asking, do we have power? We have power. We have power. We have power. We're not even hooked up. The Line 3 pipeline comes all the way across from Canada into North Dakota for 17 miles and then long, long way across Minnesota traveling southeast, crosses the river and goes into Wisconsin at Superior. It is a tar sands pipeline, the filthiest, most corrosive form of oil that there is. And this pipeline is built to carry 800,000 gallons of tar sands oil all that distance across Canada and through Minnesota each day. That means that it's just about the same size as the KXL pipeline, which the United States, President Biden, has finally pulled the permit on. For seven years, Indigenous people in Minnesota have opposed this pipeline, have exhausted all of the legal remedies that were available to them, and have gotten nowhere in terms of stopping this pipeline. Construction began this year, and just within the last few weeks has been completed, and now tar sands oil is running through this pipeline across wetlands, across streams and rivers, including the headwaters of the Mississippi River, through rice harvesting areas that are traditional to the indigenous people in this area, and nothing has stopped it. There has been no environmental research done about this project as there should have been done. And Biden, who pulled the permit on the KXL pipeline, has not done the same for this one, which is just as bad. And that's what we have been asking for most recently, is that the president not allow this to go forward. He has the lever to do that. We're still asking that a proper environmental statement be done on this project. It has not been done. He could say, stop the pipeline until that is done. This bank, TD Bank, is not open. We have closed it long since. Okay. They have another branch down there. <laughs> this bank and its cash machine, which you see right here, supplies the money that makes these pipelines possible. In this instance, line three, the pipeline is supported by banks, and this bank is the fifth greatest lender. TD Bank is the fifth greatest lender to the Line 3 project. We have been here on this corner every third Thursday of every warm month since 2014. In that time, we have convinced the state of Vermont not to keep its operating budget in this bank any longer. We have hammered this bank to get out of the pipeline business, and all we have managed so far is to close this branch down, but there's another one just a block from here anyway. If there's no money for these pipelines, there would be no pipelines. That's why we're here, to spread the word about how dangerous these pipelines are, what an incredible cost they are in terms of climate change, and we are here again making the argument that these pipelines, and this one in particular, must be closed down. We consider this bank part of the crime scene, the climate crime scene, and that's what our sign says, and that's what we believe. This is a criminal enterprise sponsoring, financing, and supporting climate change and destructive drilling for oil and gas. And we are here to shut TD Bank down. This is a story. This is a story, story. about a place on earth, uh, what a place place on earth. earth. where the stars do shine, where the stars do shine, and the waters run true, the waters run true. where the animals speak, where the animals speak, and the children sing, and the children sing. And this is also a story. And this is also a story. Unfortunately, unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, of a long black snake. Of a long black snake. It takes the land. It takes the land. Poisons the waters. Poisons the waters. A catastrophe. A catastrophe. It's a catastrophe. It's a catastrophe. A catastrophe. A catastrophe. And it's happening. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Watch my hand. 